Okay, so I want to understand how Professor Graham Samuel turns up with a recommendation around the regional forestry agreements that was not foreshadowed in his interim report that blindsided industry. Um, I, I don't understand how it's arrived. I want to know what we're going to do about it and what level of consultation the department's going to take. I also want to understand whether uh, you saw this coming. Um, the, uh, the people here today, Senator, apart from myself, are from the agriculture side of mm -hmm. the department. Um, um, yesterday, in the mm -hmm. other committee, uh, we had the people there who had been working with uh, Professor Samuel <coughs> in relation to his report, and I think we had evidence from uh, Mr Tagirtha about the development of that report. Um, so I suspect that my colleagues here can't answer your specific question. Minister? What we can talk about is forestry policy. Um, uh, well, well Jenny, your you're the first to complain <laughs> about consultation or lack thereof in any process undertaken by the government. The fact that in developing this re independent report, and I think it should be independent of government, took submissions, <coughs> produced an interim report, uh, came up, lands a recommendation <coughs> to destroy what's been two decades of functional and effective uh, forestry agreements in, with state governments after two decades, and that is flagged nowhere. He has not gone back and reconnected and engaged with industry uh, at all to see what the implications of this um, recommendation would be. So, um, so give me a I'm break. Right. Yes. Minister, yeah, yeah. Minister, yeah. do you have a view? <laughs> do you have a view? Um, no, look, uh, what I'd say about the Graham Samuels review um, is that it is just that, a review. Uh, that's been undertaken and it is something that's been provided to government. Government then now make decisions on how it responds. And so, as the Assistant Minister for Forestry, my view is that we stick with RFAs. They are something that's provided certainty and strength to a wonderful world-leading industry. And, uh, you know, we'll look at what the uh, report, the review says, but in terms of consultation, and in terms of a government response, it needs to be led by industry, uh, because this is about those who actually manage the resource and mm. they do so in a world-leading way. So, uh, you know, thanks to Mr Samuels for the work he's done. Uh, we appreciate that, but now it's over to us and industry to work together to make sure we have a strong future for the forest sector moving forward. So do I take it from your comments, Minister, that the government will reject uh, Graham Samuels' recommendation around regional forestry agreements? So <clears throat> um, I'll be working with Susan Lee on formal responses to the recommendations, and I've already had a roundtable with the forest industries with Susan Lee. Um, my commitment at that roundtable is that uh, our pathway forward will be guided by industry, um, and they will tell us uh, what they need, and my job is to deliver for them, and that is providing them the security. My view is to uh, maintain the RFAs, uh, Broadly speaking, in their current forms, there are some things industry have said we could strengthen up and we'll look at those things as we move forward. Um, and I look forward to working with them on making sure the future is stronger and brighter. So was it your understanding that the review would examine regional forestry agreements? Uh, I didn't have any insight into uh, what would be coming out of the review, but uh, suffice to say I had industry saying to me, please make sure moving forward with the government's reforms to the EPBC Act that RFAs and the forest industry uh, dealt with fairly and that the certainty is provided into the future. So when Samuel said there is insufficient Commonwealth oversight of the RFAs and the assurance and reporting mechanisms are weak, is that your view? No. I don't agree with that at all. And so when you had that round table with industry, um, they were very keen to see RFAs continue? Correct. And I've had a series of meetings with uh, forestry stakeholders from other parts of the country as well, outside of that one, as I mentioned before, with Susan Lee. Uh, they are very keen to see RFAs continue. Um, there are things that, of course, can be improved, uh, and we'll work with them on that uh, over time. Okay. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Chair. Thanks, Senator McKenna.